Hey. Hey. Jadi. What's going on, y'all, man? Welcome back. Black Street Boys Show, episode numero 85. As usual, your boy Brandon Keith, a.k.a. The Range, by the 2K Jones. Don't bother. Whatever you want to call me. Man, to my left. It's your boy, Marge, man, the menace. Ain't girl, my father, Dennis. Y'all know how you rocking. You got your boy D Johnson, DJ Smooth, the man with the money, man. Y'all know what it is. Man, you already know who it is. The CEO of the Prez, Robert Gar, Robert Lots of Fees, whatever you want to call me, baby. Let's get it. Man, Patreon, Patreon. Discord. Discord. I was going up every single week. Shout out <coughs> to everyone in the Discord. Shout out to people that's in here live. Shout out to Mexican Mario. I see Mexican Mario in the chat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, shout out to all the Patreon members. Only three dollars a month. You got live streams, extra segments. Three hour plus long podcasts on there. You want to see extra Black Street Boys help support us? Hey, spare change. You know, let's go ahead and spend that. Shout out to the new patrons this week. Last week I got your name wrong, so I'm going to say it right this time. The, the latest ones, the last five ones we had, last six ones we had, is Memphis, Spencer, Desmond, Beefy, Aid, and William. I think I got his, A's name way wrong. I think it's, <laughs> what I say his name was last week? Dell or something. Yeah, I called him Adele. Yeah. Why? You got to change the name. Well, no, I was, one, I was like, one, I was two letters off. That's stupid. I, I added a couple of extra letters. I ain't say you was that wrong. Aid, That's like, you was said it. Saying Jim and Joe. Ain't that different? We knew you was wrong. No, no, I'm no, confident no. you sounded. Like <laughs> that's like if I called him Joe. That's like if I called him Joseph. His name was just Joe, and like not Joseph. Snicker. I mean, that's two letters. You were the one that said you. Nah, it's it. okay. It is what it is. Whatever. What's going on, y'all? Man, hope y'all had a good week so far. It's cold as hell where we at. I'm under the weather, but we ball regardless. Mm-hmm. I like that. Janaris Johnson, Ultimate Ultimate. All right, y'all, man. Could y'all go five years without sex? For a 700 mil. Oh, come on, man. It's easy. Why would you not do that? We got, you got to think about. You got to think about, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I see where he's going with that. <laughs> the hand stare was crazy. <laughs> I see where he's going with that. I was like, I just looked at his hair first. I'm like, oh, that nigga asked yeah. you. But now I was like, oh, no, he's spitting. Nah, y'all already. That was an evil <laughs> shit. That's all you need. That boy evil as hell. Oh, <laughs> man, you. Bro. That's crazy. The reason I ask the question is because of the time frame that we're in right now, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. A lot of people will say that we you know we at our peak. And if we lose five years, by the time five years up, we 27. Okay. True. So by that time, you know, things stop working. No, 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 no. Well, that's maybe not working, but maybe they definitely slow mm. down. They definitely slow down. Yes or no? DJ, you got to read the room. God damn it. We are the new age of fucking baby boomers. God damn it. Niggas are having babies left and right. Yeah. Shit. Now. A lot of babies going on. Yeah. Now. See, we might be helping the goddamn community by by, by (laughs) stopping for a couple years. God damn it. Okay. Yeah, these okay. kids dumb as hell anyway. Shit. Parents fault. (laughs) We saving saving some of the generation. Okay. I feel that. Yeah, that's easy. So y'all, $700 million? That's a long time. Is it worth that much? What we said in the very first episode, man? What's the mind say? You said, you know, sex ain't, it ain't, it ain't better than like mac and cheese yeah, and shit, shit like, like that. that Agree. And chicken. No, it's better than mac and cheese. It's not. Um, yeah, you I say mac that. and cheese better than fellatio. Easily. <sighs> oh, all day. Easily. Y'all come, y'all, y'all biased though. I can't say too much <laughs> y'all niggas is biased. So I'm going to just leave it at that. What does that even mean? Mac and cheese. I've never been disappointed. Well, I have been. Okay. Plenty of times. Let me say it. When the right person cooking that thing, I've never been disappointed. I tread waters lightly when it comes to mac and cheese. Oh, I'm bougie. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't eat, eat any old mac and cheese. Right. I just look at it until I'm going to like it or not. Factual. Same thing with greens, bro. Factual. I, I don't know what it is, oh, yeah. bro. Like, I love my mama greens. Love my mama greens. But if I go to someone else's house, and I mean this by no disrespect at all black folk. Oh, you can but if I go into another black person's home and I see greens, I just look, ugh. I don't know why. It's just a thing. <laughs> okay. Because everyone cooks. Soul food is just too delicate. Everyone cooks that shit different. And not Factual. everybody, and not everybody got the same soul. So, you know, it's going to be different. That's true. Hmm. Bars. <laughs> not everybody got the same soul. That's a good one. Yeah, not everyone got it. the same soul. Some of y'all souls dark as hell. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ain't no love in that. You're just throwing <laughs> shit together. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm crazy. I'm just saying 27, you you in a range. Where what, so, what you what you doing there? I'm going to take the money. Oh, cool. right. oh, right, right, right. We right. finance friendly over here, goddamn. Right, right, come on, bro. As soon as I get that money, all my I'm just saying, I, I think it'd be a little bit more difficult to y'all make it a scene. Nah, I don't think so. No, nah. it's not. Bruh. It probably we, would be pretty pretty difficult. Especially people like matter. us that, like, don't look like shit. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, well, Sometimes be shit. Sometimes a little pink motherfucker be. I mean, look. Calling out to me. Me and bro be going on almost 23 years strong, so but I that, think. But you got to think about nice. that, though. You got to think about that, though. For a large portion of that time, get you the you weren't indulging in that. Wait, but still, I can go back to that. 
Shit. Well, yeah. my thing is like, yeah. like for real. That's though. like, that's like, <laughs> even that's I like, wasn't so, so, being bro. We gotta think about it like this though. Yeah, yeah. That's like saying, oh, I used to not do crack, but I did crack a few times. I could just go back to not doing crack. If it was that goddamn easy, everybody would be doing that shit. Yeah, man. Like they wouldn't I be crackheads. Yeah, that's facts though. That's facts though. Because it's like it's low key like an addiction almost. Because that I yeah. swear sometimes that pink motherfucker be calling on. It do. It's persuasive. Robert. Robert, and don't say that for me. Robert. Be calling to me. <laughs> and I be falling for the allure. You know how the uh, the pheromones and the cartoon yeah, man, come and you tickle your nose. Facts. And then you fly to the air and start going toward it. Shit be happening to me, man. $700 million, no sex for five years, nigga. That's that's easier. Just get you, get you, get you the ass. Get it's you the fleshlight. Fear, okay. The ass on it. Mm, bro, I swear okay. to God. If it comes desperate times, you, you got to do what you got to do. Fair, so but you're going to know, though. You're going to know, though, because like, that's going to be more enticing. That's going to entice you more. It's been uh, a minute since I had the real thing. Maybe, nah. I, just, maybe I just don't. Nah, okay. Maybe one time. Like, something like that. I, like, got a, I got a very vast imagination. Okay. <laughs> Some of them pockets. I don't even want to go down that road. people carrying between their legs. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just saying, I could buy that rubber motherfucker and it could be whoever the fuck I wanted to be. <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. Come on. Yeah, come on, man. That's that is a part. That is a part. You step it up, man. It's too, e it's too easy, bro. Too easy. Shit. Shit. Y'all shit. Yeah, maybe if the money amount was a little bit lower. No, man. Yeah, no if matter. it was lower, I'd fold. I ain't gonna I got, lie. I got Anything something lower than a mil, I low key would fold. <laughs> <laughs> I got something for y'all, though, man. Oh, man. You know, I got a bone to pick, man. Jesus. I guess. You know, you know. When you in the house, right? Let's say you about to open up the fridge or you see like mm -hmm. a box of cereal or some food. They're like, man, I sure want that juice. I sure want that whatever the hell's in there, cereal. And you just see like a little drop left. That's it, man. Ain't nothing left in there. I, I, I want to ask y'all first. What y'all think about that? When Most trifling when shit you do that, in the house home. When y'all encounter that. Most trifling shit. Mm. It's, I used, when I was growing up, I used to think it was trifling. But after having my own spot, Sometimes shit happens. Thank you. Sometimes nah, shit happens. You know, I thought we were gonna disagree. On, I thought we were gonna disagree on this, but you know, I'm glad we're on the same page, nigga. Just get you that little motherfucking shot of Kool Aid. Whatever the fuck <laughs> yeah, it is. Sometimes you just stop complaining. Yeah, you don't need. Nah, that's no, no that's, that's annoying. That's I, grew up in a, I grew up in a household. It's like, why you leave that little drop in there, or why? Same. Why? Yes. Why you leave that little corner of food in there? Eat the rest of that food. Sometimes they exaggerate. Sometimes it's a little bit more than a corner. <laughs> factual. Factual. That's so factual. That's, 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 that's so more No, no, no. He is fitting. No, so that's little ass. Hell no. He's more than a corner. He's a little bit more than a corner. They still be in that motherfucker. No, bitch in the morning. Bitch in the morning. Oh, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Motherfucker, it fits on a plate. Goddamn. Why did you? Why did you just eat all this shit? Why did you just eat the rest of that? Because I didn't want all of that. Right. Come on, bro. So you didn't want that little ass corner. Hold on. You hear the mother top? I don't. You hear the chitter chatter though, right? So let's bring it. Let's bring it to the minute made conversation. The minute made carton in the house. Okay. You filled up your cup and then left the last swig in there. Okay. You didn't want that last last swig. Hold on. There's a point of leaving it so I can come and think that it was juice. And now I'm trying to get a bev and there's zero bev for me. There's this, this beverage. On. For real. One, for, number one, get there definitely is beverage. Right. And two, sometimes your shit just get too goddamn full to pull it all in there. You don't need a big old glass of juice. Take a sip. And then pour the rest. Stop it. I don't, don't, don't want to do that. that. I don't no, 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 want to no, no, do no, no, that. It's not that big of a deal. Like that's, 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 that's supreme laziness. Uh, supreme what? laziness. Oh, my God. Laziness. laziness. Thank you. Know, you know, it laziness, happens bro. to me, too, though. You know what happens when it happens to me? I said a little drop of juice in there. I get that drop of juice and right. I put it in my <laughs> all the day. And you I carry on with my day. Literally. I put it in the recycle bin and I carry on my day. I'm with that bitch more. Oh, why? 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 You got that extra little bit in there. Stop being a fat ass. Sugar the death of us all, anyway, but that's a new crack. You hear the indoctrination? What? what shit, bro? They're indoctrinated like a motherfucker, bro. Oh my There's God. no way you have heard all this complaining and got so comfortable to the point it's okay. Like what? <laughs> there's no point. There's, 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 there's no it way. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, for me, if you complain to me, I ain't gonna give a damn. That's all it is. <laughs> I ain't well, fuck. Well, you know what? I told everyone. I was like, hey, hey, maybe next. Y'all a bunch of jackasses yes. and a bunch of bastards. Hey, call y you call me anything you yeah, got damn want. I don't give a damn. Be fast the next time. What you if you do? want a more juice, motherfucker, beat me to the goddamn right. carton. Beat me to what that carton. Because if I want some later, I'll go get that low drop of Hit juice. Hit that bar button. But I didn't want any in that moment. Beat me, motherfucker. And beat I'll, me. And I'll limit. Get the fuck out of here. And I'll limit. Right, exactly. Get the fuck out of here. In unison. In unison, nigga. In unison. Oh, God. In unison. Oh, God. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, hey. I ain't. 
bro. What? That's ridiculous, what? bro. You niggas are and crazy. And I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap. Sometimes, because I don't want to throw it away. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> hey, you know what's crazy? So that's what I want to throw That away. is a, like, hey, that's yeah. a rule of, like, upon yeah. all households. Yeah. If you finish that motherfucker, you got to yeah. throw it out. Yeah. You, you, you see it getting a little low, you be like, damn, you know, I ain't gonna try to. You know, yeah, I ain't gonna walk. I got enough steps in already today. Hold on, Rob. Hold on, Rob. No, like they got it with that one. They got it with that one. Okay, you with whatever. That one. Do you do that? <laughs> they got it. Whatever, right, right. Bro. They got whatever, bro. Y'all are ridiculous. He's, he's no. saying whatever because he don't damn well be on the same hold time on. as some Everybody time. done did it, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody done did it. See, but you know what the difference is? I will gladly go get me some water if I don't feel like walking some shit outside. So you, you know niggas just gonna leave that little ass droplet in that fucking car. Hey, I'm okay. You okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. That's fair. Damn. That's Deal fair. with it. That's fair. See, that's and up. they're just acknowledging that the shit is trifling, uh, and they're okay I don't, with so, that. I don't think it's trifling. And I don't think it's that trifling. I was that Ain't that hard? Just go throw it away. If it's not a big of a deal, you go throw it away. If it's not that big, if it's not that big of a deal, why couldn't you just do it in the first place? I didn't want it. Oh, I didn't want it. The reason I don't say y'all need to get over it. We telling y'all the reason why we do it, but it's the reason it's ain't good enough. Motherfucker, deal with it. But no reason. Shot of Kool Aid. Get you that. Little free set, get you that little sample of them motherfucking rice, where the fuck it is that you can play about this that little jumble line. Sam's Club. And go ahead. <laughs> this is not Sam's Club, Boy, get, all right? Get, use your imagination. It can be whatever you want it to oh be. Oh my god. The reason I don't call it trifling is because everybody goddamn do it. Everybody does it. Everybody don't got got and everybody don't got somebody. I guess. Have you not got somebody? It was on accident. Oh hell, now it's on accident. See, sometimes, sometimes I'm not even thinking about it. I'm not trying to be devious. It's just like so, no, you got devious intent. It just depends on the time. <laughs> it depends on the time. No, it's never devious. It just depends on. It just depends on the time that I Pure do it. Laziness. Sometimes I don't. How want you throw gonna it in say that, that when you do it? You right. It's okay. You could whatever. Call me what Mother you want. Calling somebody black, but looking in the mirror. It's different when it's my shit, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what is okay, I see what you're saying. It's you bought it, it's, right? Yeah, it's my shit, so I can't. You know. Facts. No, bro. Just get, whatever. What? It's a fact. Because it's facts. Yeah, oh, it's which means shit? he doing it. No, yeah. I said I said if it was if my shit. shit. Yeah, but if it was my shit, it was my shit. Different. Which yeah. means you doing it. No. Yes, it do. Now, if I caught a motherfucker being like, damn, why you leave this last sip of this juice in here and it's my juice? Now I know, motherfucker, <laughs> you've been taking my juice. So therefore, you got to stop at that point. And you know, you know, it's crazy. Like, it, we, I remember growing up, me and my sister, we got it down to like a science. Like, we had figured out. Because we do it, you know, you finish that ball you got to throw it out. Right. So me and my sister would work together. On trying to get it to a point where like mom and dad don't get pissed off about you know how much is left, right? <laughs> and, and they like, still drink the reese that stuff, and so they gotta throw it away. Y'all are evil bastards. Bro, me and my sister be upstairs just conniving. Be like, yeah, it's only it's only a certain amount left. So like when you go down there, don't fill the cup all the way up because you know mom and dad gonna be tripping if it get too low or we drink it too fast. Fact. And shit. And you be like, okay, I got you, I got you. Like I go get something right now. Nah, man. Bro, we we, we used to really be like that trying to w get that shit done. Bro. I ain't gonna like bro. See, there's some motherfuckers out there that, ne that never tasted that shit in, a, in their life. Get you that little sack. I, hate, I ain't gonna lie. Shot. I hate when people drink bull that card, though. What? I know that's ridiculous. That card. I Get like you that little... That card. When I see that, that little card is just a, That card is just so when low. I see that that card is so low. Man. Man. What? The whole... Bucky Blade had that kind of shit low. Bucky Blade had. Yeah, it's like, 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 I don't like that card. It's true. I've had it, and now I have a problem when there's a little ass shot left in this fucking card. Fuck. We'll deal with it, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, y'all, but like, what else can you do though? What it you gonna matter. do? Fight? Shit, we damn near gonna have to. Oh, well, well how well, you well. gonna say that when you just admitted it you do it? It'd be my own shit though. Oh, you see, okay, right, see when it's your own shit, that's all right, fine. Okay, all right, whatever, 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 nigga. So, let's move on, bro. Let's move on. We're not gonna agree about it. Man. You know, y'all know y'all do it anyway. Yeah, I should set a boundary on it, but. We gonna go a little deeper on that. Uh, I wanted to talk about setting boundaries in your life and your relationships <laughs> and stuff of this manner, right? Um, I was watching this video and there was this guy. He was talking to himself. It was like this uh, little play almost. He was talking to himself outside of his body as like his conscious. And him and his girl had been arguing and going through things, but everyone has their good patches, right? And you just sit back and you're watching TV and let the problems just kind of be the problems, right? Um, he was saying that you are in love with this person when they are not upset or when they are not doing this act that you don't like and you're not actively setting a boundary on it. Okay. Have y'all ever had to set any boundaries in your relationship? Oh, yes. Yes, but I was the only one I had to set one for was when I was living with said person. What was the boundary, if you don't mind sharing? Uh, it was more of like understanding that, you know, we have lives separately. 
Like, mm-hmm. it got to a point where, like, I couldn't even use the bathroom without being questioned. Yeah, like, I would get up to go to the bathroom. Like, where are you going? Where are you going? I'm just like, to the goddamn bathroom. It's not mm-hmm. even a full mm-hmm. 10 feet away. Right. And I was like, bruh, like, I like my gonads in your mouth, but my God. <laughs> let the motherfuckers breathe. <laughs> oh, like, facts. Facts. Shit, facts. Like, facts. damn, facts. Lord. Like, okay. facts. And those are those are boundaries right. that need to be set because it becomes unhealthy. Okay, uh-huh. um, something was communication in terms of not screaming and yelling back and forth, not calling each other name, not calling me no bitch, not calling me no nigga, none of that when we're arguing because a boundary needs to be set because it gets to a certain point where we can't communicate and shit gets horrible, right? Shit gets toxic and we need to learn how to set these boundaries in our relationships. And those are important because a lot of those boundaries that you set are to prevent from going to a place that cannot be returned from. Mm -hmm. Because me personally, I've been in those situations being called, you know, everything out my name. Mm -hmm. And it skews the the look on said person when things like that. Like, for y'all, y'all call me a bitch, you know. I I don't give a fuck about that. Mm -hmm. We we boys. We do that, you know. Please die. Um, But (laughs) that's what we do, you know. But, like, if you my significant other and you calling me, you know, pussy ass nigga and bitch and all that kind of shit, it's like, uh, I ain't really going for that, like. And now I'm in a spot where I'm like, okay, so if you angry, because, you know, they say the three people that tell you the truth are people that are upset, children, and people under the influence. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you're upset and you're calling me all these names, you truly think these things about me, at least at one point in your life. Mm-hmm. So now that we're in a spot where I can't come back from that, because now that shit's on my mind, you actually think about this shit. So I don't know. I think them boundaries are extremely important. Mm-hmm. So where you don't get to those places. Exactly. You get to a point <clears throat> where you're boiling up. And now your frustration is out of pocket. Mm-hmm. Some some people think of the word boundary and think instantly think restriction. Yes, yes. And those are two different yes. things. That was, that's a good point. That's a good ass point. A boundary is is set to protect both parties. Yes, you no, know, or all parties involved. Restrictions. That's just a, to stop a specific person from doing something, a specific group person from doing something. You know, it's just to stop Ooh, shit. That's you know? bars. That's it's, bars. It's two different things. That is bars. Two different things. That was some knowledge right there, bro. That's a good wordplay right there. Hell yeah. Yeah, you definitely need to set some boundaries on some things. <clears throat> I think even, even if it's like, like your regular relationships, mm-hmm. like you know, if people sense someone's not in a good mood, stop fucking with them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Simple. Leave them alone. Yeah. Simple. I had to learn that a few times. Cause Lord knows you can tip you can tip me over the edge if I'm already upset. Just like that happened. I'm better, you know, like, you know, controlling that nowadays. But, you know, once upon a time, you know, it is what it is, man. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, I got something to talk about, man. It's been on my mind for a long, long time. <laughs> Y'all, every man can relate to this, man. I just want to say it's a curse, man. It's a curse at this point, bro. New booty. Motherfucker talking like it's a kuna or something. New booty. If mm. you don't know what I mean, if you don't know what I mean, every man... Miss New Booty? Every man <laughs> that's on the verge of doing better in his life, fixing his life up, you know, he done quit the drugs, you know what I'm saying? He smoked a little bit less of that weed, you know, he doing a little bit less of that alcohol, you know what I'm saying? He done finally settled down with that girl that's been treating him right all this time. <sighs> new Booty comes out the fiery depths of hell. <laughs> fiery depths of hell. And my problem is, where was the New Booty when you was alone? New Booty was scarce then. Oh, it was scarce. But as soon as that potential new booty sees you a consistent current booty, oh, man, it's like they like a lion stalking they prey. That's they get on you, man. It's tough. Can we talk about men cheating, whatever? People cheating in general, whatever it is. Mm. Y'all, listen, new booty's very persuasive. <laughs> very persuasive. I've seen otherwise very good men go downhill because of what? New, new booty. motherfucking booty. God damn, it's a curse. It's a curse at this point. Mm. It's too many triggers out there, man. What y'all think, man? Y'all think it's a curse? Yes, oh, but, I mean, we talked about it before. I feel like there's two points that I want to bring up. Right okay. Um, what Rob said a few weeks ago about, um, shit, what did he say? He was basically saying that, like, damn, oh, I just had a fucking blank. But Rob was basically saying that, like, you know, we are sexual creatures. Mm-hmm. And, like, <clears throat> you know, you get bored. Mm-hmm. And if you're a man... Especially if you haven't had that experience like that. You haven't, you know, experienced yourself and figured stuff out. You fall into that temptation a lot easier. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, that's why at this point, my people at my job, I fuck around a lot. I tell a lot of jokes. But I do be serious when I tell them, like, you know, if you being scandalous right now, it's not that bad. 
Because when you get older and you get into more serious relationships, mm. then, you know, you can say, okay, I've already lived that kind of lifestyle. I don't really need that anymore. Mm. I, it's a lot easier to be faithful. Because I've heard people who are in there like, like we talked about it before. You know, some people are upset that they haven't experienced their whole phase. Mm. Okay. And because now they're older and they're with these, you know, great people, but they still have temptation. And temptation is a motherfucker, like you just said, you know. New, mm. like, we call it temptation, new booty, all of that. You know, you yeah. call, it's a motherfucker. Creep up on you. Shit. Oh, it ain't right at all. Hell no. Oh, man. It ain't right at but all. But it's also good to point out that humans are sexual creatures. And if the temptation is too goddamn strong, motherfucker gonna pounce. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, you know, when it comes to the new booty, we Nigga. talk about the men. What, what's up? If you, if you hang a donut in front of a fat nigga face, he's going to take a bite out that motherfucker. That is bars, man. He ain't lied yet. That is bars, Keep man. Yeah, I know, you know, to the religious folk, you know, so we say be Christ-like, whatever it is. Listen, we not Jesus. I'm nah, sorry. Man. We I not. Know. Jesus, nah, the only I motherfucker. But, Listen, but Jesus. remember, Jesus' best friend was a prostitute. Well, okay. we ain't going to get into that today, brother. But, well, yeah, well, you know, it is what it is. But, no, where I was going with it, though, is that, like, yeah, we ain't Jesus, bro. New booty is too high. It's way too highly persuasive. Way too persuasive. Jesus Christ, the only person that I ever heard of that could what? He could walk on water, hmm. turn water into wine. Man had hair of wool. Man was he was a very handsome man. You tell me, you walk up. You tell him, bro. Any other man, real man, you know, not you know, descendant of God, whatever. Just have that, bro. It'll be all hell break loose. That nigga fucking everything. Let that man get that power. That's fact. You know, so when you yeah. finally get some attention, it always <laughs> rough, man. I'm not saying I'm gonna get into that, but I can, I can, I can understand that. I see it sometimes. It's even more jarring because sometimes the new booty that you decide to, you know, you know, that you decide to cheat on your girl with, whatever yeah. it might be, ain't even better than the booty that you got. Facts, man. Facts. But it's just know, it's exactly what you it's, it's exactly tough. what you said before. You was alone. And then you started growing and getting better. Mm. And when women see that you with a woman consistently, yeah, yeah there it is. Exactly. You already check all the boxes, man. There it is. So now the options start flooding well, man, in, yep. and you didn't have all those options before. And yeah, I hear what you're saying about having the whole phase and everything because I was talking about that, or at least being scandalous and you know getting your XP up. Okay. But regardless, the temptation Lord is gonna be there because you don't just have those options twenty four seven. Fair enough. You know? Yeah, that's definitely fact. I agree with that. I agree with that. So mm. yes, I would agree. But <clears throat> your booty is a curse. I, okay, we we'll agree on that. Man. I do agree. But you gotta deny your demon. You got to treat that woman that's right, man. I don't care what type of booty she got. Whether she got well, the big old butt, medium size butt, whether she's got an extended back, mm. she got your back. Nigga, stay with her. Come on, that's don't do it. Don't that's don't a door, do man. Leave that succubus alone. Come on, man. Leave it alone. I don't even know what the fuck that means, but leave it alone. Succubus? Yeah, I don't know what it means. What does it mean? Oh, it's like a sex demon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think I have it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, Shit. They get I didn't find me one of them. Leave it alone. They get oh, okay. Right. Brittany Griner. Not Brittany Griner. Anyway. Brittany Griner. Oh, yeah. That's a whole oh. different thing. I didn't find me one of them. Griner, that's wow. Are they in the Kanto region? Hmm. Oh, you can <laughs> find a couple of them. Oh, okay. okay. Anyway, man, we can move on, though, man. We can move <laughs> on from that. Uh, <clears throat> so... Moving on to some some hip hop news a little bit. It seems that Keep D has finally spoke about the whole Tupac situation. Oh my god! Now this isn't out of you know him wanting to do this. He got caught doing something scandalous. Dang. I guess he tried to go towards go for one of the witnesses from the inside. You know he called his son. He said it's a green light, and they heard that little phone. Oh, they bomb rushed the man. They Pre moved. They moved witnesses around and everything. Mm. They told that man to speak. The man got the talking. I'm sure he had a catfish or something in that in that room. <laughs> some some nice, some slight. But he said, <laughs> he said other than the words of that uh, Diddy sent the hit out, and that he was ordered to complete said hit. Yeah, I think I did hear something about that. Um, yeah, get that nigga. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I'm shit. <laughs> For me, uh, right, all the whole Tupac news, I don't give a fuck. Oh, I don't. That nigga dead as hell. Oh my God, uh, the wording was just crazy. Yeah, it was crazy as hell. But I'm just saying, <laughs> that goes, but that's not like a Tupac. Oh, and that's like man. for just dead people in general. Like, right. I don't really get a kick out of trying to figure out who, who killed, who killed said person because, right. I mean, they're gone. They've been but gone. if you can get Diddy like, off the streets, I'll gladly you please. Know, yeah, but gladly you know, like, 
Shit, I feel like at this point they not getting that nigga. <laughs> so I'm like, they not getting him, bro. Yeah. Like he don't been out this damn long. People keep dropping shit about this motherfucker. They not getting that nigga. And shit, how they go? Shit, this is just he said, she said, shit. This might not be enough to get his ass. Yeah. Oh, definitely not. Exactly. So he shit. I don't even know what he said that for. Shit. I to do what? To get him? No. He just talking, I guess, for a time. Like I said, like me personally, when people pass, I'm not a huge fan of trying to, you know, go and figure out and detective it all up. I don't give a fuck, man. You know, rest in peace to Pac, you know, all of that. What about like Malcolm X or like Martin Luther King? You don't don't care about getting justice. The only, my justice ain't what uh, they gonna do anyway. Y'all know my justice. Yep. Knock them off. Yep. No, I completely agree. (laughs) Knock them off. I completely agree. All right, shit. But they're not gonna do that. Cause that's you know playing God and that's too inhumane. They do that shit behind closed doors anyway. I ain't I mad agree. at it. I ain't I mad agree. at. It. I ain't mad at it at all, man. DJ, I know you had a little funny question for us. Something. Yeah, like man. What, what is it, bro? I was thinking about this uh, at work. I asked my homies and it got a pretty crit- uh, interesting conversation out of it. If we was in a horror movie, who dies first? I vote that nigga. <laughs> Why? I was thinking about this last night. Damn! Or it was between these two. It's between these two. Oh, no. <laughs> he gonna be blazed. He ain't know what the fuck going on. I I Brandon gonna be shit. freaking out. Brandon gonna freak out because <laughs> Brandon don't play none of that shit. None of that scary shit. I don't play none of that scary shit. Mm. Rob gonna be trying to make a sense of everything. Well, it could just be the stairs croaking and shit. You know, like don't think about it. Y'all thinking about it too long. Y'all just scared, man. Y'all just scared. Y'all some pussies, man. And he go to he go try to he go try to like you know show off you know why you know why he's so smart and shit like that. <laughs> See, look, man, it's just a goddamn stairs, man. Uh, look, we look over nah. here, and then yeah. boom, they come out, got his ass. His goofy ass, ass, he gonna be sleep or he gonna nah. be high as hell, hell somewhere. Nah. I'm gonna do the opposite, of whatever the fuck you niggas doing. That's why he's dead. We come out, <laughs> we come out. Nope. Oh, out of there. I found at a young <clears throat> age that if I do the opposite of what these dumb niggas is doing, I might get a lesser sentence of uh, consequence. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's not bad logic. But in a horror movie, you did. <laughs> shit, I already know. It wouldn't, wouldn't be no movie if I was in a horror movie, though. Oh, it wouldn't be for me either. It wouldn't be no movie. I'm about it there. But and he I goes, burn the house shit. down yeah. and move out. Shit. Anything too suspicious is going to fuck me up. Um, man. You know, I see yeah. anything crazy. I ain't going over there. Oh, if you ever seen yeah, that yeah. movie, uh, fuck, what movie was it, bro? Damn, I'm mad. I'm mad. Escape me. Never mind. But it's this movie like where uh she was like in like a she was like in a like a, a goddamn Airbnb with this one weird dude. She went to the basement like this dude was like oh well she didn't have a place to stay mm-hmm. and he invited yeah. her to stay. I saw that. I didn't see the movie, but I saw a trailer for it. Yeah, I, was it? Mm-hmm. It wasn't Hereditary. I forgot what movie it was, but like the neighborhood that she went in was just Be bust a, down uh, ass neighborhood. I'm like girl, you just stupid. Uh, I wouldn't turn my ass around. Right, right. Really, you just seen dumb. That? Yeah, like. Stupid. If well, you shit. have an Airbnb be there, that means you're probably going to be there for most of the time. And you see the the damn outscape of the damn place. Why would you stay there? Are you talking about barbarian? S- barbarian. I was just going to say barbarian. barbarian. Are you slow? You got to be slow. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I would probably, my ass I probably would die because I like to make sense of things. Damn. Yeah, he does. I know he does. They don't make nah, sense. That's why right. between these two motherfuckers. Nah, the, first, the, first, the second I see something not right, bro, I'll be trying to get away from that motherfucker. Shit. I don't yeah. lie. Uh, the stairs be creaking and shit. Like see, I just see? remember, I just remember being in a house in the dark or something, or like my parents left, and it's just me and my sister. And my sister would hear something, and be like, oh, "It's probably just some creaking, like the wind." Yeah, like, and that's going. why you're gonna die. Like first. the wind and, like, and Rob a smart guy. Rob a smart guy. So that's gonna lead him to try to, you know, let motherfuckers know. See, y'all just scary as hell. It just, it's really just a stairs. <laughs> and shit. Like, tours, no weird. Man, I wouldn't yeah, even tell shit. nobody I heard nothing scary. I'm a scaredy cat, so I'm out of there. I just see, suggest we all leave. I'm still scared of the dark. See, this is where, this is where y'all uh, differ in the story up, though, all right? Because if it was a horror movie, it'd be like some blood streaks or something. I'm out of there. <laughs> 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 I'm out of there. I'm not making sense of it all, that. It don't start out that way, though. I see all that. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it all start out that way. Shit. It usually start out, you know, he's some, some crazy ass noises. Help yeah. me or some bullshit. Picture you screaming at you and shit. Six, I'm out. Burn that motherfucker seven, down. Nah, bro. Getting some gasoline, lighting a match on fire. Tell you, it, the, the, scene, the scenery alone is a, can tell me nah. Factual. Me and Usher gonna be best friends. Let it burn, bitch. Let it burn. <laughs> come on. Let it <laughs> burn. Come on. I ain't going for none of that. But I don't play that shit. I'm scared as hell. I'm scared as hell. I'm scared. Shit. I am, I, bro, I can admit it though. Like, I'm a scaredy cat. Like, I, mm-hmm. It's easy as hell to scare me, like, mm-hmm. cause like I'm an over a lethal company. I'm an overthinker. I'm an overthinker. Me too. Um, and like I start like pondering, like, what if something is down there? Motherfucker might try to stab my ass. <laughs> I ain't yeah, going I down there. Like, like, it's yeah. like that. I already believe in ghosts and shit. There, shit, but I, I do. Shit. But I ain't finna find out though. I ain't testing it. I believe in it, so you leave me the hell alone. Nah, you gotta show me some. Acknow- shit, shit. You gotta show me a damn thing. I acknowledge your presence. Well, once you do show me that, I'm about out of there though. <laughs> 
based on other other people's experiences I'm glad <laughs> right, nigga, I know all that need to know Bruh, don't wanna fuck with them I, I remember I dated this girl back in like middle school high school and shorty used to tell me she had a third eye I know you're talking about too. I and, got a story about the same Yeah, time. and uh, she would tell me like all these different stories she had with ghosts and shit. Now she's sitting here scaring the hell out of me. I think I know you're talking about too. Because my recent ex said that she, in her house she had ghosts in her shit too. And boy, when she told me that, the boy, I didn't want to go over there no more. <laughs> and she told me something, come down to the basement. I'm like, girl, you don't tell me like seven stories in now. I ain't going in that motherfucker. <laughs> you, you think I want to kill myself? Hell no. You stupid uh, as hell. Smart man. I was literally standing at the top of the stairs while she would go down there. And I'd be like, hurry up. Because I, cause, you know, I ain't <laughs> yeah, trying to get got. For real. Yeah. Shit, I'm closing this goddamn door and I'm yeah, out. Damn. My car ready. And I got remote start. Well, I did have remote start, but not no more. But I had remote start. So that motherfucker be ready by the time I get outside. Crazy. <laughs> I ain't going for none of that. Boy, I ain't going for that shit. I don't blame you, though. Too many goddamn stories. I believe in that shit. Some of they got scratched or pushed down the stairs or they got their hair pulled. <laughs> I ain't got no hair to pull, but shit, I got some skin to scratch. I'm out. <laughs> Come on. Hell no. Nah, so who nah. y'all think dying first? Shit. Uh, shit, nigga. It probably not me. <laughs> For real, it ain't me. Yeah. Nah, I fuck around be you. You be fucking around dick too scared, so I run like a chick with no head on. I can see that. That's that was valid. I can see that. We gotta paint the you gotta paint the picture though, like <laughs> Jason at the doorway or like like what's going on. Well, for those, you don't really have no chance because like not fast enough. Huh? You're huh? not fast enough. You need to kill you. No. They, bruh, they don't even I never walk. seen that movie to They be teleport right. They yeah, teleport They be skate. I right. never seen that movie To be honest with you Bro, yeah. most of those movies If they in your face You dead Right Mike Myers Like, bro, okay, You can't get away from them I like, like Pennywise Don't gotta scare me He ain't gotta eat me bro. the moment I see his ass I'm gonna shit myself I'm, I'm right terrified Cause that make him grow Yeah, I probably have a heart attack All I gotta see is that Clown nigga face sober Alright, oh, soil draws For tomorrow Oh god <laughs> But speaking I, of like Curses and like I wanna float Fuck it Tell that nigga I wanna float Fuck it. I'm okay. bad at it. Shit, you on the floor? Nah, but man, speaking of like ghosts and wicked shit, man. <laughs> time for the wickedness of the week, man. You know, I've been on the interwebs. I actually had a video at first, but I think they took it down. And you know, it's probably for the best decision. Probably the best thing to do, man. I opened up my Instagram. I was following. I followed this one account. You know, the, you know the account where they got that puppet and the puppet's like a kid. And he's with his mama and shit like that. Oh yeah, a kid yeah. named yeah, it was that account. Dookie. Yeah, it was just a pu- it was just a puppet. You know, it was just a funny account, whatever it was. I open my Instagram just randomly, and I just see this woman and she, you know, she cooking some eggs, and uh, this big booty bitch was just to the left, and uh, she cracked the egg. I saw, I saw that. I saw that. And it went flying onto the pan. <laughs> I saw that. And she started cooking it. That's crazy. <laughs> And that made me very upset. I showed that at work. <laughs> I showed that shit at work, bro. That, that shit, shit funny. That shit made me very upset, my brother. You got egg yolk between your booty cheeks. I don't know if I can say that. Oh, I didn't have egg yolk. It's motherfucker say if you ever, if you ever ask if you ever had egg yolk between your booty cheeks, you gotta say yes. You done did that, but how many motherfuckers can say that? Nah, that's a good one. Nah, but like my thing is a lot of women be like, I don't understand why men like booty so much. It's just lumps of fat. That is fucking talent. That is fucking talent. You know how much control. But that is trifling talent. How much talent. Yeah, I don't care how talented this nigga. That shit trifling as hell. That's nah, a trifling that's talent. talent. That's what I'm saying. Nowadays, when I see like big I old butt you. on Instagram, man, the booty, like I said, it's not sacred no more. No. I used to see the butt on the gram, whatever it was back in the day. I used to be impressed. Whatever it was, I used to be impressed. Nowadays, I'm not even impressed. Yeah, you man, know what yeah. I think when I see, you know, the first thoughts in my head that when I see some booty, you know what the first thought is these days, man? Mm. Sheep beef. Farting like a motherfucker. <laughs> I know she be. <laughs> crazy she be letting that motherfucker fly. Ain't no, ain't no motherfucking tube. Thought, bro. So ain't no motherfucking tube. How did we get there? Tube. How did you get there? All that motherfucking junk in that trunk. What you think? What do they call a junk for? Nigga, especially if it's Nigga, natural. Nah. And especially nah, if it's natural, because nah. to get the natural, <laughs> if your booty is extra big, you got it naturally. That means it's eating good. And you, Ooh. according to the mathematics, nigga. <laughs> Okay. You eating good. You shitting good. Bars. <laughs> Blowing that motherfucker up. Okay. Mexican Independence Day, 4th of July, Mardi Gras, Chinese he New it. Year. He brought it around. Where, wherever the fuck they got fireworks at, that's what the fuck nah. is going on in that motherfucker. He brought it around. I nah. give him that. I give him that. I don't. Yeah, man. I salute that. I, salute I don't that. even let someone say too. No, you don't. I, I know y'all be throwing that ass. I know you be gasping past that motherfucker every once in a while. I know it be. 
I know it be. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I know though. it do. Yeah, yeah, that sphincter, you know, you know that type of motion of sphincter. That's, fun, that's funny. That's a funny ass. Straight word. cyclone B, nigga. Oh my god. Fumes and killed the boy on a striping uh boy <laughs> striped pajamas. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Jesus. Uh, they be letting them motherfuckers fly. I know they do. Don't be grabbing that y'all do. Especially yeah, y'all like y'all got acid reflux and shit. Y'all start to be fucked up. Yeah, man. I don't even. I'm about, that's bars, though. I do not like the ass on Instagram no more, man. It right. used to be subtle. It used to be subtle, you know? They had the hood vine compilation and throw mm-hmm. the random little twerking yep. at the end for like the <laughs> quick little three second. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's subtle, but I, okay. I but it was, but like, it, it, was, wasn't, it wasn't right in your face right away. Facts. If I go on Instagram right you had now, to work for it. I Looking guarantee at it. you it's ass. Like, like, I guarantee yeah, you it's ass. I don't really have ass I, like that. Besides that one video, but that wasn't nah. even like an account. That wasn't even that type of account. They just react, post the reaction video. That shit was fucked I up. I guarantee you I can find some ass on Instagram if I swipe three times. Facts. Yo, that's well, that means your uh, feed is bullshit. Yeah, because no, I see mostly food I don't videos. even be on so IG no more. Well, mama heard me. All, all she heard from my room was, what the hell? She went up. I showed her. I ain't going to lie. Oh I'm dead. That's I showed crazy. her. That's a good relationship. Like, <laughs> I showed her. Now that I don't give a damn. I was like, Mama, look at this. I suffer, so you got to suffer too. I'm dead. You wrong for that. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, she was disgusting. She didn't like that shit at all. I saw yeah. an old dude on Twitter talk about like uh, how easy it is to look at butt. He said, back in the day, you had to pay for this, you know, go to a house or something like that. Right. Like a stripper. Like the strip club, but nowadays you can just go on internet. He's like, I love this place. I'm like, oh man. <laughs> well, of course, for the old nigga, that, that makes more crazy, sense because he didn't have access to it. Once you grew up with it now, it's just it's spoiled now. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. sometimes you gotta look at him and wonder what's going on financially that make him do this. Hmm. And we done went, we done, we done put too much, too much power in the butt, man. We do. But we just talked about how, like, as men, you know, a lot of us don't get it like that. Right. I said new booty is a motherfucker, but I think there's too many triggers on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, even dead. going back to the new booty, like I talked about you know, a physical relationship. What if that man got a, got a, he got the uh, motherfucking uh, XXX video with that rated X uh, motion pictures? What if he addicted to that okay. and, and stroking that motherfucking chicken, choking that motherfucking chicken? Okay. He finally he finally trying to stop, kick that addiction because it is a real addiction. It's rising, and then next thing you know, he sees some new booty, and next thing you know, he chafing the fuck out of his shit. No lotion, none of that, bro. It's Jesus fucked up. Christ. It's too much going on, That's bro. What script it's too it's too much going on, bro. We need to put a, a ban on the booty, man, on the internet. It's too much going on. You don't got to work to see no ass no but more. But you know they going to but booty ban. that that won't work though. That it won't, won't. Work because like we've seen companies or not companies, but like uh, social media platforms try to do that, and we see the engagement go down tremendous. And That's okay. Keywords. Uh, a prime example <clears throat> is Tumblr. Mm. Yeah, but no one uses that at all anymore. Anymore exactly. Right, right. That was oh, right. Bank they, didn't, they didn't put it. Back. They put wow. the ban on all of that, Good and Lord. then everybody it went was. to where Twitter. True, I need to go, man. Sorry. So unless you blend it on all platforms, but people will still find a way to get it on there, because Instagram wow. had it like that for a while, but people were still finding ways mm-hmm. to put it on Instagram. Man, I see this video. You know, I'll be watching the food videos. It was this one lady. She does. She's around the Chicago area. Jeez. And every single video starts off when she's at a restaurant. Starts off with her shaking that ass, yeah, or just the camera on that ass. Yeah, it's become it's a marketing like, ploy at this point. I'm just like, this is ridiculous. It's become yeah. a marketing ploy, and it works. Market clearly, booty. it is what it is, man. Can you patent booty? Call me what you want. Uh, I hope this point. Well, it is what it is, man. <laughs> Shit, move Should on, man. That's the wickedness of the week, man. Shit, wicked, bro. Rob, what you got for us, brother? Um, wanted to ask a kind of deep question. Um. Because, you know, we always talk about viewing stuff in other people's shoes and trying to see things in a different light. But do you think you could ever truly understand someone else's perspective? Or do you think we're forever confined to our uh, our own subjective experiences? Personally, I think own oh, subjective. Because mm-hmm. that's what, low-key, that's what I think. Like, when I try to think of myself in someone else's shoes, I'm still always comparing it to what well, I've I been through. Exactly. So if I haven't experienced something and then you try to tell me something, I'm looking like, nah, that shit don't make no fucking sense. Mm -hmm. You're not going to convince me because I've never experienced anything like that. And do you think that's a bad thing? Yes. uh, Yes. It depends on what it's it's about, you know, because at that point it gets to it gets dangerous because when does accountability come into structure? Mm -hmm. No, I think I I equate that. Well, I attribute that. I relate it to like when I talk about this stuff all the time on this podcast, but people that are in situations and they're perpetuating the negative things that's been going on in their communities, whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. But if I go and I say something, I try to match myself in their shoes, and I do. But even with that, what you're doing isn't like the right thing. 
you know, and it's not going to solve anything. Right. You know, you just keep on, you're going with this constant pattern. How are you going to better your life? I think sometimes, you know, maybe the other perspective, they, they're they not going to know 100% what it's like to live in your shoes. That's a fact. Doesn't matter. But at the end of the day, I don't think that, I think it's just a little bit dangerous to say that we're all confined to subjectivity. Because mm-hmm. I think that's the reason why, you know, so many debates, arguments, wars, whatever are fought to this day. Right. Because they're, because they're confined to their subjectivity and their own beliefs. I mean, at that point, you're bordering, you're bordering the likelihood of you coming across as bigoted or whatever the case may be. Mm. So I think that's dangerous. I don't think you are really confined. I think you can imagine yourself in somebody's shoes if you listen to them speak right. and you just take it for what it is. Some people just don't want to take it for what it is. Mm. But I think a line is like, there's a small like line that's, has to be crossed because I feel like you guys, both of you, both of your um, excerpts are correct, but I feel like this has a line to be crossed to get to one side. So like he's saying we are, you know, who we are and it's extremely difficult to see it in somebody else's shoes. Mm -hmm. But if we neglect the fact that there is another possibility of seeing it from somebody's shoes. Then we get to this. Then we get to his side of like, now we seem bigoted, and now we seem like, you know, we're all the reasons why all these bad things happen between people and different races and all that kind of stuff. So I mm-hmm. think, like you said, I think there's a huge, like a, a very tedious line mm-hmm. that has to be crossed to get to that level. But I do think what he says is correct because let's say Rob you know, gets fired. <clears throat> and I've never been fired. Well, I have, but I'm saying for hypothetical reasons. Mm-hmm. I've never been fired. He can tell me, you know, this is heartbreaking and, you know, this is so mentally distraught. I'm so mentally distraught about it because being fired is difficult. Very. Mm-hmm. But if I've never been fired, how can I sit here and understand, you know, exactly what he's going through? Mm-hmm. I can understand, you know, parts of it because I'm like, okay, yeah, I have a job. And me losing my job and having no source of income would actually affect me very mm-hmm. badly. Right. But I can't sit here and say that I understand exactly how Rob feels because I didn't go through it. But and he, even if I did go through it, the things that he's experienced through his, throughout his life mm-hmm. could be way different from what I've experienced. So I might see it as a glass half full. Fuck that job. I don't need it anyway. He might be like, fuck, I need that job. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm fucked. Right. So I, like, I, feel like it's, I feel like it's a little harsh to say that you know, because I can't see him exactly eye to eye mm-hmm. that I'm contributing to bigotry or like, you know, I'm, I'm you know, a prime reason of why yeah. different conflicts happen all the time. I don't think you have to understand 100% what it is. But at, at the end of the day, I think that kind of goes with like, yeah, you haven't experienced that. So you don't know exactly what it's like. Mm-hmm. Ask questions. Okay. Ask them to tell you much about that experience. As ask him to tell you as much, or this person to tell you as much about those experiences and okay. the, the reasons why. As, as a grown adult, you should be able to articulate the reasons to as to why you do things. Fair. And but as someone that's as a a good listener, mm. you should be able to just take it for what it is. Okay. If someone tells you this is the reason why, you can't just reject that. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people they hear that and they reject that. Fair. But it's a real it's a, it's a real reason. Okay. You know, at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, you have to come up with a question. Of, well, what are you going to do? Okay, Are you so going to sounds, just roll over? So that sounds like so it sounds like the perfect solution is we got as human beings we have to be better listeners. Yeah, I, that I seems to be the key to all of that. Definitely, we get better at listening, we get better at understanding, and it's a lot easier to like we said because he said it's a lot harder to see ourselves in those shoes if we haven't experienced. But now we have to <clears throat> now we have to kind of take it back a step, right? Because we were just talking about accountability and things of that nature in terms of. Uh, in terms of our perspectives, to bring it back to your job scenario, the person that's, let's say a person is crushed because they lost their job, right? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, they show up two hours late or they do no call, no shows, and that's the reason why they got fired. Right. Should you still feel empathy for that? Oh, okay. Wait, so I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if I missed anything, but like, did he? is there like a reason as to why he, he did it? He said there's no real reason for it or? No real reason for what? He got fired? Him, no, for him, like, the reason he got fired, like, did he have something like serious to do if he had no call, no shows? Did he have like a family emergency, mm. whatever the case may have an, been? An inconsistent worker. Oh, he's just an inconsistent an, worker. Inconsistent, like, an inconsistent worker. But he's still getting his bills paid at the job that he's at, even though he's not showing up, right? Okay. Should you still have empathy for the person 
And that's the, uh, the whole thing that I'm kind of talking about. Like, why should certain things I resonate with if I've experienced this much and based off that experience, I don't agree with what you have to say? Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just it's a disagreement at that point in time, feeling empathy for them at that point in time. Yeah, I mean, if you, it, it, it's it, that sounds like a very specific situation, but once again, I just have to ask the questions: Why are you inconsistent worker? Why but, are you inconsistent worker? But at the end of the day, I think I think <clears throat> you can still be empathetic in a way because I don't think there are definitely people that are just lazy. They have things just handed to them, and that's the reason why they are the way they are. Mm -hmm. But at the same point in time, like I mean mental health is a real thing at the same point in Very time so. there, that could be a big reason why like sometimes you just feel like a stick in the mud and you can't do anything mm -hmm. and it's a real illness so I just think it's a little I, I, I do think you can still be empathetic with it but at the same point in time you still have to be constructive because if you want to go and live your life and get out of this situation you're going to have to do something about it right and so I feel like I would just try to have mm -hmm. that conversation what are you going to do I try to help him with that and I still think the main point is still to be a better listener as human beings. But right. I feel like empathy can come in different ways, right? So, like, I can still be empathetic, but I can give you a hard time about it. Mm. Like, okay, you're a shitty worker, and you got fired. And I get on your ass. That doesn't mean I'm not empathetic, because, like I said, I, I don't want to lose a job <laughs> myself. But mm. I'm empathetic because I care about you, and the fact is, Yes. For some people don't resonate with being nice. Some people you have to grill. But I think you also have to recognize once again who you're talking to. Exactly. Some person might not they might not respond well to you getting on their ass, whatever the case okay. may be. F fair you enough. You can still be real with them. But I think <clears throat> sometimes people have conversations, whatever the case may be, and they're so worried about getting on their ass because in their mind they want they want what's best for them. Mm -hmm. So it's coming from a pure place, but at the same point in time. How the person's going to take it is how the person takes it. Some okay. people are wired differently. You have to know who you're talking to. True. It's all case-by-case case scenario. Whether this person, you may talk to them in a certain way, and they might get hostile towards you because right. of that. You might have to know who you're talking to. Fair enough. Might want, my man might want to whoop your ass just, just for holding him accountable. Yeah. Some person, they may completely shut down, whatever the case may be. You just have to know who you're talking to. And instead of just kind of, a lot of times when I see that happen, yeah, I think the person that is getting on the other person's ass, they're so caught up in the fact that, Oh, well, I didn't mean it like that. Yeah. But you also have to understand how you're coming across to yeah, the person. That's fair and enough. That, you to, like, it's just come, taking things for what they are. Okay. You can't, you can't change that. At the end of the day, the common ground is that you want better for this person, whatever the case may be. Whatever way you want to help that person is going to vary from person to person. Like right. me, you can get on my ass for something. Mm -hmm. It may not be the case for for somebody else. But even me, like, yeah, you can get on my ass at the same but point in time. Yeah, you can't you be, be cussing at me. Yeah, to what extent, right? right. Okay. So it's just, I think it all so, depends. That's why I said, like, you can't, I don't think you're confined to subjectivity ever. I think if you're confined to it, you're doing that yourself. Right. So it sounds like, like I said, even though we've had this long convo, it sounds like the main fix for all of this is just being a better listener. Because being a better listener is being a better understander as well. Like you said, talking to a certain person a certain type of way might not deem the result that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to help somebody, you're sitting there cussing them out and they don't respond well to that. That's not a good thing on your behalf because now they're fucked up and now you didn't even achieve the goal that you were looking for. Mm. And that was la that was honestly to a, due to a lack of listening. Because if you talk to somebody, if you're cool with them or whatever, whatever, you understand. Mm. You're supposed to, you're at least supposed to understand. I understand how to talk to you. I understand how to talk to you, and I understand how to talk to you. Mm. Yes or no? And you and you, all of y'all yeah, can but reciprocate that. Slip ups, like of course, like, but you have less slip ups if you're a better listener. Yeah. So being a good listener negates all of that. I mean, it doesn't negate all of it, of course, because you still have slip ups. But if you listen after having a slip up, you don't have that slip up again. Mm -hmm. And eventually you get to that point to where there's no slip ups. So me personally, I think the whole, you know, fix to all this is we as humans just have to be better listeners. And like Brandon said, you got to ask questions. If you really care, you should be asking questions. Right. Yeah, I agree with that. For sure, man. Uh, no, we can we can move on though. Rob. That's a good combo. That's a good combo. Mm -hmm. Good combo. I knew you had something else, Rob. Though, kind of. Regarding oh, that, though. Uh, to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still. Oh here. shit, my bad. I'm looking too far nah, down. Yeah, it's my second um, chances. Yeah, and then, do people deserve second chances, or do you believe in the boy who cried wolf? 
So when I say that, you guys know the story of the boy who cried wolf. Yes. Cried wolf was fucking around, and then there was an actual wolf, and when he cried it, motherfuckers was listening. To right. Boy, right. Ate his ass. How do you guys feel about that? Uh, that's, that's a that's a hard one. I talked to my dad about that, and uh, it's just like for me, I'm so cutthroat. Mm -hmm. Like when it comes to like the legal system and all of that shit, and like if you dumb it down to maybe like friendships and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We can go to day to day. It's like it's such a case by case because certain things, like like you said about boundaries. Like mm -hmm. if I set this boundary and I've articulated to you that I've set this boundary, and you have broken it, they don't deserve a second chance. It depends on how severe the boundary. I'm thinking is. to say obligated. Depending right, on exactly. I shouldn't have to, but I feel like that's, that's on a day to day basis. I shouldn't be obligated to give you a second chance though because like we could because you got to think about like we said in somebody else's shoes if mm -hmm. I, if we were to flip this and you gave me a boundary and i fucked it up would you give me a second chance and people will always say what well, sounds good mm -hmm. but you got to be put in that position to actually understand whether you would or not yeah and i always try to think about it like cheating like if i ever got cheated on bitch i'm done fuck you right and that's because Don't of the boundary that you've placed but i also have the thought in my brain that I know people make mistakes and I know that I can be overcome by temptation. Damn, still that's that deep, bitch, bro. That's wow. deep, bro. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, second chance, yeah, I, I, I'll just agree. Like, you're not necessarily obligated to do it, bro. What do you think, Smart? Mm, it, it's based on scenario, really. So, like, nigga, if we're driving and you hit my car one time, it was just that one time, Mm. Okay, nigga, I don't have to be like, all right, we cool, but I'm not thinking I'm going to see you again. Now, if you hit my car that second time, yeah, nigga, ain't no, we're cool. You know what I mean? So, like, it, it's, yeah, it's, it, sort of it's case by case. It's yeah. case by case. And, like, that's why I feel like it's such, that's, that conversation is such tricky waters because, like, for you to say, oh, everybody deserves a second chance, like, that is way too broad. Because, <laughs> like, let's say yeah. you kill my mom. Mm -hmm. Now all I got is dad. I'm supposed to give you a second chance, motherfucker. No, you might kill my dad. Like, that's crazy. Like, but if you say something like cheating, if, if you if you're cognitive enough to understand, that, like, yeah, temptation is a thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe you know we can work this out and get past it. Like shit like that. And oh, that's his. That's it's, tricky. It, it's that's it's tricky. really it really is such a hard it's conversation because we were just talking about perspectives just a second ago. What if I was mentally? What if I was mentally ill and I was in an insane yeah. place when I killed your mom? Like. <laughs> nigga, I'm staying away. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But, good yeah. choice. Good choice. Crazy. <laughs> good choice. I can say it's crazy when I see it first. Like, I can. But <clears> now <throat> I've been going through therapy and I've been getting better and better. And I try to come to you and I'm apologizing. You won't give me a second chance. Mm -hmm. No, I ain't gonna give you no second chance, nigga. I'm gonna let you think on. you got a second chance, nigga, and then get away from you. That's just ridiculous. No, nah, I ain't gonna lead him on this because right, don't still, lead nobody on. He's still, cause... I don't care if you, if you go to rehab because he was crazy. <laughs> even if you come out that motherfucker, nigga, you still crazy. You're crazy. You still crazy to me. Yeah, like, yeah. Cause I mean, rehab can't fix everything. Goddamn. No, nah, I can't. Yeah, you still <laughs> I'm positive of your craziness, but nigga, know, you can man. definitely still be pushed over the edge. Cause like, so, uh, I'm, I'm no. When you say that, the first thing I think of is uh, Miles Morales, um, with like uh, how his villain killed his dad, and then he becomes like a a good guy because you know. Um, in the game, at least. Mm. I never watched Miles no more. Right. But, uh, you know, he becomes a good guy and helps Miles, you know, become a better Spider-Man or whatever, whatever. And, um, you know, Miles lets him know. He's like, bro, I'll never forgive you. You know, mm -hmm. none of that. But he's like, uh, I am willing to, you know, let the pain go from you killing my father. And, like, I don't know if there's a second chance. It doesn't sound like one. Because it's how he don't want to fuck with the dude. Mm -hmm. Naturally so. But, like... When I think of that kind of stuff, it's just like when we go to the, you know, killing my parents scenario. It's just like That's Lord, always so extreme. God. Like yeah. it is extreme, but like, you know, I feel like it's a good one because what you're really put to the test. If you just shoot your ass. What if you shot you like your kneecap or something like that. Shot me? Yeah, mm -hmm. your kneecap. Something like that. After killing my mother? No, 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 no. no. Oh, no, no. no. damn, Lita, Lita, Lita killing your mama. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, fault. Yeah, yeah. I was just, we was, it was, was context. God damn it, my bad. We was arguing bad. And I just shot you in your motherfucking shoulder. Oh hell no! I can't uh, see, fuck I, with you after that. <laughs> nah, I can't, bro. Because see, that's like extreme as fuck. But too, like, because like, at that point, I'm putting myself in danger. Because what if he didn't shoot me in the kneecap? The kneecap, I was lucky. I can live. 
Nigga, let's say it's my brain. Yeah, he don't know. Nah, he didn't want to kill you, but he wanted to fuck you up, bro. Right, so what if he got intent like that? We shouldn't be cool anyway. Type yeah, shit. No. Type shit. Type yeah, shit. I, I, I ain't gonna, never been mad at y'all enough to where I wanted to shoot y'all. No, what not, kind of I'm shit not is that? that is person, but shit. you might not be come, come from that background where he from. It might be normal to shoot niggas. With <laughs> <laughs> well, the <laughs> fact, well, the fact that he's alive is a miracle. Because <laughs> <laughs> crazy, that's crazy, they all. Damn, it's just Fortnite out that that's motherfucker. Niggas trying to mean. shoot people all day long. Like it's crazy. Yeah, that's how it is. I don't know. Man. I feel like the second chance topic is really. No, you don't gotta give a second chance. It's, it's, that's it's a touchy one. Yeah, you're not obligated to do it, but it goes another thing of like forgiveness. Yeah, like I've heard people say to me, you know. Forgiveness is not necessary for the other person; it's for yourself, you know, because it can definitely eat you up. But I, sometimes I see that, and I agree with a lot of it. But at the same point in time, because you know the, 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 that type of stuff, resentment and depression stuff can kill you. And yes, stuff like, mm-hmm. it really can. So it's really for yourself, really. So I mm-hmm. I do agree with it to a certain extent. At the same point in time, yeah, there are levels to everything. You yes, know? I don't necessarily have to forgive you, but I don't have to remain. Angry about it. Yeah, that's that's very helpful. Mm. Yeah, to okay. let the anger go. It's, it's more so like listen, forgiveness is just coming to peace with things. Yes, yes. That's all we want. That's all we want is peace, man. Peace and tranquility. Yeah. That's all we want is peace, man. Uh, that's a look, good we, convo, bro. We got, we got a little bit of time left. Hey, Maj, man, oh, what, man. What's, what's this fun fact? It's been a while since you did one. Man, look, I, I was, you know, you know me, getting a little high down there, right? You feel me? Getting a little elevated, and I was on Tubi. Shout out Tubi, man. Everybody be trying to bag on Tubi like they don't got some good shit on there. Tubi be be having some good shit on there, man. Sometimes it be old gems. Stop it. You gotta really search. It be old gems in that motherfucker. What the Black Bollywood? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some shit. Some shit is fucking hilarious. Okay, I'm but not denying I, that. I got the scrolling through, you know, the little little category called uh, family nostalgia. Right? It was old old TV shows from 1920s. Damn, TV bro. shows. Yeah, TV back then. Sitcoms from the 1920s. <laughs> I got to thinking, when the fuck would the niggas start inventing TVs? Did you, did you look it up? I looked that shit up. What when? I looked that shit up two nights ago, nigga. Shit, I don't know. Shit, I mean, I figured probably like 1920s for real. For real. Yeah, dude. I watched some shit from 1920s. We've that shit had, ass, though. Technically, we had motion That's pictures. I gotta find times. the. I gotta find the, uh, the tab again. No, so it's not, times. nigga. No, we had, we had motion <laughs> pictures. Fuck. In 1910. <laughs> 1910? Okay. We, yeah, we, we learned sense. how to refract images, you know, largely in 1890-something, some, some along those right. lines. We didn't, right. America didn't get colored TV until the 1940s or 50s. Africa, on the other hand, was the first country to get colored TV. Okay. Really? You, Southern Africa, yes. Yeah, colored people. Shout so to they got to do their shit done. Okay, yeah, Rob, Rob, see what I was doing in Southern Africa. But. <laughs> oh, okay, South Africa. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, no, they were invaded. That, by that was crazy. All that. What? And they colored people, so they had to get the colored, colored images. That's fucked up. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucked up. Wait, wait. That's an interesting term. All right, no, real quick. That was yeah, real, 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 real quick. Interesting term. Yeah, that's interesting, man. Real quick. Let's hear this finance knowledge on them, man. Oh, man, I'm about to drop some real quick shit on y'all, man. Okay. For okay. all y'all scared to invest in the stock market, y'all know what to invest in? Invest in ETFs. Boom. Best one to do, VOO. Millionaires talk about all the time how you can literally get rich as hell off strictly ETFs. I thought, like, I don't know. I've heard, like, niggas safer. things about I don't invest in them personally because, <laughs> nigga. well, I mean, I have some, but it's not my main source of income. Okay. Because ETFs are a lot safer and they're, uh, what do they call it? ETFs like, are the digital images and shit like that, right? That people be buying? No. Am I tripping? Mm-hmm. That's, no, that's, that's NFTs. That's oh, NFTs. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, my bad. Okay, my bad. ETFs are like you're like, they get a bunch of companies oh, and you put like, them in the same like, basket. Oh, you mean like, you mean like uh, what's called Spy, Black? Spy. Black, whatever the hell's called. You talking about BlackRock? Yeah, BlackRock. That's, that's an ETF, right? No. Black, BlackRock, I thought it's an ETF that you could invest in because BlackRock owns a whole bunch of other things. So if you invest in BlackRock, I mean, they, I'm sure they do. Have, I low key believe he's correct. I'm sure they do yeah. have an ETF, but like the main ones are like your VOO. BYM, Spy, like, and they're expensive. They like four hundred eighty bucks, right. but they hold like the top ten companies yeah. in the stock market. Right. So the reason investors and millionaires say to invest in them, if you don't know what to invest in, because yeah. it's a lot simpler. Yeah. A lot of people made like their first million off of uh, ETFs or ETFs, index funds. Yeah, index funds, stuff like, like that. that. Yeah. So, like I said, if y'all don't know what to invest in. V-O-O, V-Y-M. I'm invested in like three. 
You know, I invest in QYLD. Word. It's a dividend ETF. Okay. Yeah, I know I know a couple um, of niggas that's invested in uh, HOEs. Okay, I've heard about those. Oh? Yeah. yeah, that's what they're called. <laughs> they should have chose a better acronym. Like, they nah, I don't think you was talking about that. <laughs> I think you was talking about the physical thing. Mm -hmm. yes, oh, you got to get help. They do have I like that. That's a good way to end it, man. Hey, appreciate y'all. Tuning in for this episode, getting in the Patreon, you'll be able to see it live, man. Hey, we still got 15 minutes coming up, bro. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all get into the Patreon, $3, spare no change. Biggie, no doubt.